Welcome to this tutorial on doing exploratory research with the George Mason University Libraries. The goal for this tutorial is that by the end you will be able to identify the role of exploratory research in the research process. You'll also be able to explore subtopics of interest within your research topic and you'll be able to use Google to conduct exploratory research. When you're creating a research question for your paper, it doesn't necessarily just drop out of thin air. Research questions don't happen in a vacuum. In order to create a strong research question, you need to know what's already out there. Exploratory research is a process to follow to help you learn more about your topic. It helps you discover what ideas, opinions, and facts are out there that you can integrate into your research and into your paper. This is a process of exploration, not focused on finding the right answer, because at this point in the process, there is no right answer. So don't begin with your argument already in mind. Don't Focus on learning more about something that you're just interested in. Let's start with an example. Let's say that you're interested in the effect of social media on sleep. You know that you scroll through your phone late at night, and you know it's been impacting your sleep quality. In order to start our exploratory research journey, we're going to go to Google which is a great place to learn more about the variety of topics available to you and find lots of sources. We're going to search the effect of social media on sleep. And you can see here that we have a number of articles that come up. The first one in our search result is from the Sleep Foundation, which maybe you think, huh, Sleep Foundation, seems like they might know something about sleep. So let's click on it and see what they have to say. As you look through this article, you see that there's a lot of potential subtopics that it mentions, like social media, which was part of our original search. We see things like circadian rhythms and insomnia. We see an idea of fear of missing out as being a reason for people sleeping less. We see that this is a thing that a lot of people deal with as part of being a youth or a young adult. Maybe one subtopic might be the effect of social media on the sleep of high school students. So this is again a great way to find a subtopic that's a little bit narrower to dig around into on social media and sleep. Let's, for example, click on sleep hygiene. This is a specific term that you find in this article. We see that there's a Sleep Foundation article on sleep hygiene that's linked here. But maybe you want to use this opportunity to find sources other than those from Sleep Foundation on sleep hygiene. A great next step is just to open a new tab and search sleep hygiene. One thing that comes up when we search sleep hygiene is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and a new page called tips for better sleep. So that seems really helpful and it is a government source, which gives you a slightly different perspective than the Sleep Foundation. Now, you may find that you do this research process several times before finding something you're interested in researching more, or maybe you're interested in creating a research question with for your paper. Don't worry, research is supposed to be like this. Research is what we call an iterative process, and it's normal to circle back to where you were before. You can see this diagram of the research process is a circle. By nature, the research process is, in fact, circular. 
Exploratory research helps you narrow your focus and figure out what you really want to spend time researching before you commit. Once you have a sense of what your subtopic is, you can then use scholarly databases and Google Scholar to find peer-reviewed academic sources on your topic. Exploratory research helps you discover keywords and important parts of your subject in order to do better searching in these areas and to use terms you might not have thought about. For more help on how to use scholarly databases and Google Scholar in your research, go to the How Do I Research tutorial page on the library website, which you can find here under How Do I for Students. We have lots of resources to help you get started and continue on in your journey of research.